Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the Louis Vuitton Fall Winter 2022 Stardust Collection. I have the women's lookbook here on my phone and I just wanted to go over what they're offering us this year. I did place one order and it's on the way and I actually will probably receive it before this video goes up. And I also kind of already reviewed the lookbook quickly, but I wanted to do a deep dive with you guys to see what else is maybe worth getting, see if there's anything else I'm interested in, see what you guys are interested in and just kind of talk about it. So let's get into it. So I have the lookbook here. And by the way, if you are interested in purchasing anything from a limited collection and you just don't know how, just go into a store, kind of strike up a conversation with a client advisor. You also might be able to do it over the phone if you call client services. Usually once you have that kind of a relationship with your client advisor, they once they get the lookbook in, they send it out to their clients so that they can do a pre-order and reserve whatever items that they want. And so this lookbook has already been out for a little bit. I just kind of decided to look into it now. And by the way, right off the bat, I'm not a huge fan of the name Stardust for the collection. I think Stardust is probably more widely known for the famous old casino in Vegas, Stardust, that has since been demolished, I'm pretty sure. If you guys are new to my channel, I used to work in corporate law for many years and I quit last year to be a stay-at-home mom. Before I worked in corporate law, I actually worked in criminal law. And there was an infamous strip club in my state that was known for just tons of criminal activity going on under its roof and in the parking lot. It actually ended up in a very tragic shooting in the parking lot and the club was torn down. But that's just what I know Stardust as and I know that's a me problem, but that's just what comes to mind when I when I see the name. So here we have the LV Fall Winter 2022 Stardust Women's Lookbook Collection. The first item here is the sleeveless bathrobe style coat. It is in green, vert is green, and it's 2360, 2360. I just did a video sharing some new kind of luxury items I got. And one thing I picked up recently is from Hermes and it's called a yachting robe. And that's what this reminds me of, except that the Hermes one is a full long sleeve yachting robe and it's blue. It says Hermes in the front, like a border, and then has two pockets. And that was 980. I already think this is a little overpriced. Obviously LV is gonna be very pricey. It's okay, let's see. It looks like it has the canvas uh, monogram edging on the belt. And, ooh, I think it might be a hooded bathrobe style coat. So I'm curious, it looks like it's a terry cloth, which, you know, when I did my try on video, the yachting robe from Hermes is a similar terry cloth material that is meant to be like a beach cover up or whatever, you know, something you wear on a boat, but I would definitely wear it out. I mean, they're saying it's a bathrobe style coat. So it, it is a coat, not for me, what do you guys think, for 2360? All right, next up we have the short hooded parka with cinched waist outerwear in blue and it's got the blue monogram. It looks very thin for $48.50. Guys, I'm kind of sick of Logomania everything, at least for ready to wear. I wish it didn't have the monogram all over it. That's just me, I'm gonna pass. Oh my gosh, okay, this blazer jacket, $4,000. I hate it so much. It's just not for me. If it's your style, then okay, gr that's great. You got these stars just kind of all over. It's, it looks like it's purposefully not like a star pattern. It's in random areas because some places have more stars and then some places do not. And then here on the the cuff or the, the little pocket flap over, the LV pattern on the flaps. I know these pictures are kind of grainy. It just looks like, it kind of looks like the Star of David. I'm not a fan of the color scheme. I don't like the stars. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this <laughs> collection, a lot of things in the collection because I'm just not a huge fan of stars and everything. Also, I feel like Dior owns the star. Obviously they don't own it, but that's their signature design. Okay, you have the Trompe L'Oeil shirt dress in white for 26.30. This is okay. Again, it looks like it's an all over monogram. Then you have this cinched belt. It looks like the tails of like a morning coat back in the day, what men would wear, but that these little flappy things are on the back. I actually love shirt dresses. When I worked in a corporate office, I would wear a shirt dress, but it didn't have these weird flaps. I don't know how I feel about that. It's probably cute on. I don't like this. Oversized shirt dress, 2360. This looks like back when maternity clothes had no style. It looks like that, like a tent. And then when you look up close, it's got these LVs sprinkled in 
within the random star design. Sleeveless A-line dress in blue. This is 3900. I actually like this material. It looks like a tweed in kind of a multicolor. Again, you can't really tell with these pictures because in real life, sometimes they just look totally different. So I could see the color of this being a little different in real life. It looks like they have some, what is that called, darting? I don't know if this would be all that flattering on. Okay, this pajama blouse with front pocket in white for $4,000. This is cute. I like this better than this star print when you have the laser cutout, like that's kind of cool. Pajama blouse, is it worth it? I don't know. I feel like this would be cute as a set. Frilled sleeveless shirt in white for 1800. I guess it's a little more reasonably priced. I don't know why these things are dangling down. Like, would you tie that? I guess you could have it hanging. There is a trend where you wear bodysuits and you, instead of snapping like the crotch part, you just have it dangling out which I think defeats the whole purpose of the bodysuit. I'm not a huge fan of things dangling. That's a long dangle. Gathered shirt in blue for 2080. Okay, so maybe it's supposed to be gathered, frilled. Okay, so maybe, yeah, you pull it up, but I don't know if that's flattering. Okay, going back to the gathered shirt. So it looks like you would cinch that up, which would make that dangly piece even longer. It looks like menswear. I really need to see this on. I mean, I have no interest in anything so far. Blouse with pocket. Oh my gosh. So the stars weren't enough. They needed to add stripes, stars and stripes. I just am not doing this. 2220. This is so cute. This white bra top, 1660. It looks like Selena. It looks like Madonna in the 80s. I mean, not for me, but I could see someone who didn't have three kids. <laughs> getting this. Um, I'm curious how it fastens in the back, but that would be cute. I would definitely need way more coverage. The thing with these bra cups is when it has that underwire where it's like, okay, this is where your boobs are supposed to go. They just never fit. I feel like you'd have to have a very small bust to wear this out in public. Okay. This is so cute. Sleeveless crop top in blue, 2360. So this is that same material and it looks like the color is a little different. It looks more clear in this picture got the white ribbed underneath then you have that kind of tweed ish material it looks like a satin neckline this is really cute i'm really into crop tops now because i'm adding more high-waisted bottoms so i can get away with wearing crop tops flared shorts okay i actually really like these <laughs> they are like your typical mom shorts but then you have this tab like a sailor short kind of design on the side i can't tell if this has a Monogram looks like it's solid white, which is nice. It's not an all over logo mania thing. It looks like these things here on the waist might cinch it a little tighter. This is actually really cute. And I could see this being paired with a lot of different tops. I like it. And 1320, that's not too bad for, for LV. Pajama pants, 1940. Okay, are they actually pajama pants or are they pajama style pants that you would wear outside? I see a waist, like a ribbed waistband. So I guess they are actually pajama pants. I wonder what the material is. That's the other thing with these lookbooks. It doesn't tell you what the material is. Once you like something, you you know kind of screenshot it you ask your client advisor okay can you tell me more about this like what's the material and then they sometimes have more info for you okay mini shorts Ooh, these are so cute blue i love blue 1040 mini shorts i wonder how high the waist is and what the material is so it's, it looks like it's got the logo all over but in like a tone on tone and then you have this little kind of a hook closure i guess these remind me of, I think it was Sandro. So it has something like this. That's um, pretty cute so far. So, so far I like the two pairs of shorts. Embroidered pajama pants in white for $37.50. Okay, this is that weird laser cut thing. And it looks like there's a lining right there, at the top. Okay, I guess it can be a cute outfit. Okay, ruffled mini skirt for $34.50. This looks very basic <laughs> for $34.50. I'm personally not a huge fan of the drop waist hem. I don't think it's very flattering on me. If you like that style, then go for it. It's got that little frilly edge. It looks like very little girl type of skirt for $34.50. Flounced wrap skirt, $22.20. That's cute. I guess it's like a midi 
length or is it, this would be like a full length skirt on me. It's hard for me to wear these types of flouncy skirts without it looking overwhelming on me. Flounced wrap skirt. Oh my God, I hate that. <laughs> so, okay, it's the same exact style, but just with the stars and stripes, I'm not digging it. Button up skirt in white, 2080. Okay, cute. Pockets, maybe. Um, is that just darting? A-line mini skirt. This is so cute. I really like this pattern. I'm curious how it looks in real life. 2080. Crop cardigan, 2150. It's okay. It's kind of driving me a little crazy that it doesn't line up the stripes. <laughs> no, no can do. Crop cardigan in green. <sighs> Okay, this is cute. This is actually really cute. 1,180 tank dress with twisted back. Okay, so you have this stripe knit dress, sleeveless, and then you got this little LV, kind of a tennis looking type logo. Oh, you know what? I guess this collection goes with that tennis collection. I don't know. I'm curious what the back looks like. It's a twisted back. Can you wear a bra with it? Who knows? 1,180, you'll find out. Crop pullover, 2,080. It's cute. Those little buttons on the shoulder are giving a balm on. Knitted panties. Ooh, panties. <laughs> 1,250, you have the stripes and stars in green and blue. Are these panties? Is this a bathing suit? Same thing in black, 1,250. Okay, crew neck sweater in lilac or lilas. 1590. What is the material? What does this look like? Does it look like the same as the handbags of the leather goods? I'm so curious what it looks like in real life. It looks otherwise it looks just like a t-shirt, like a short sleeve t-shirt, but they're saying it's a crew neck, neck sweater. So I'm wondering if it's actually embossed the way the bag is. And then we have a top with frills. This is cute. Just a plain white top. And you got that little laser cutout detail on the sleeves. I like the little flared sleeves because I always feel like it makes your arms look skinnier. This is 1660. A-line tank top, 1800 in blue. And then you've got this little Louis Vuitton design. Okay, it's okay. Knitwear, is it knitwear? Oh, okay, you got these little logo things here too. Interesting, okay. Crop tank top with frill, 1520. I don't know if this would be flattering on someone with a larger chest. Bandana halter top, 760. That is really cute. Wow, bandana halter top. You could do this with a scarf. <laughs> you could do this with a handkerchief. Sleeveless t-shirt dress, 1320. LV does this thing where they have this chain right here. And I'm not a huge fan of that design. I just feel like it would get caught. I don't like things dangling. It's one thing if something dangles, but it's one another if it makes a loop so that you can actually like, it's more easy to get snagged on things. 1320, sleeveless t-shirt dress. I don't like the stars. <laughs> See, there's the, that chain on the t-shirt again. T-shirt with patch. What is this patch? What's the theme of this? I'm so curious. 625 for the t-shirt. I feel like this will be a quick sell at that price point. Same t-shirt in green. T-shirt at crew 1180. I just, uh... Falcon at bikini top in blue. Blue Nui, dark blue, I think. 625, these are really cute, but again, these Balconette type bras, the way that my body is situated at this point in my life. I can't do these balconette type bras. I need more coverage at the top. Otherwise, if it's an indecent exposure situation. Triangle bikini top, 555. Same thing for me. If you guys can do this, then that's cool. But I need more support. I can't do triangle bikini tops anymore. What I love about LV bathing suits though is that they come with a pouch. And I've shown this in my other videos, but they come packaged in a little clear PVC organizer type pouch with a snap that has the LV monogram on it. So it's a great little way to organize stuff too, but it's meant to hold your bathing suits. Bikini bottom, oops, 415. Okay. One piece swimsuit. Ugh, I don't like this design. I feel like that horizontal stripe on the bottom half is just not super flattering. I don't know. My LV flight one piece bathing suit is this exact design though. 
The bathing suit itself is pretty nice. The straps, they're very thin, but they are really sturdy and you can really cinch it in tight in the back. So look, I like the design of the bathing suit itself, but not the coloring and stars. <laughs> Another one-piece swimsuit, Blue Nui 760. Interesting. Looks like a Speedo. Timeout sneaker. This looks like the Dior, walk-in Dior. Similar laces with the stars, and then it looks like it's got the monogram on the heel there. And then you have the LV logo on the soles on the bottom. Okay, 1,090, okay. Stella Flat Mule. These are cute. It's kind of like a little less material than a dad sandal. Not quite as Birkenstocky as a Birkenstock for 1080. Starboard Flat Espadrilles. These are cute. I like the espadrilles. How is it an espadrille? Isn't espadrille like everything's covered? Like, right? Like, isn't this just a mule? 955. Pool Pillow Comfort Mule. 955. This is pretty cute. I have a pair of the, I don't know what it's called, but it's the it's the monogram mules, like pool slides, and they were pretty comfortable. But this looks like it's the pillow. The upper is a pillow, pillowy material. So I guess that's really comfortable. These look actually really nice. Revival Mule 9 centimeter, Vert Doe 990. These are really cute. These look like candies from the 90s. What is the difference? Rose Claire. Okay, same picture. Okay, same thing. Okay, flat mule. Okay, that's the uh, blue color. 915, those are cute. Rose Claire, flat mule, 915. Vivian Tassel, 805. What is this, like a cheap cell phone charm? Fancy accessories. All right, let's move into this, what we all wanna see. This is the Micro Papillon pouch, 875. I love this color. This is the lilac embossed uh, emprunt material but this micro papillon pouch i used to own the epi soufflo which is the epi version of the papillon and it comes with this little pouch and that pouch was so useless it fit nothing i don't know what you could keep in here it's not even long enough to be a pencil case okay the bandeau is 210 cute design it looks like it's the thinner one Okay, you have this scarf for 485. This is very Hermes style. What are these designs? Okay, I thought it was horse themed. It's okay. Let's see, actually, yeah, 485. So you could just get this and use this as a handkerchief top instead of the 760 top. Another bandeau, 210 in the blue and green. Same thing in the blue. I like this color. And fedora. Mm. 1160 for this fedora. I wonder if you can remove this scarf and use that separately, in which case it's kind of like a two-in-one. This is really cute. This is going to sell out. This is the Damier Azor baseball cap in 760, and it looks like the cap upper is leather or the vachetta, and the top is also vachetta. This is really cute. I wish it wasn't exactly like a Damier Azor because then it's just kind of too much for me, but I'm sure this will sell out. 760. You have a bucket hat for 690. Very plain Jane. Okay, here you have a set of hair ties, scrunchies for 545. Headband summer 545. A summer Pareo is 955. Same stars and stripes design. Summer blanket 640. I think this is a towel. Is it a beach towel? 640. Interesting design. A jacquard summer textile 575 this reminds me of the denim monogram shawl you know the denim like if you turn denim inside out that's what it looks like jacquard summer beige 575 rose i don't even know what this is this is the towel 475 is oh that's pretty decent i think for an lv towel i tried to get the watercolor lv watercolor multicolor towel last summer and it sold out uh, and then you have a pillow hmm 475 back there i have my hermes pillow and blanket and i like that better okay here you have a set of coasters four coasters and a holder for 1320 here is a set of cups for a thousand i don't know what's up with these colors okay the first bag here, we have the Neverfull in the Empreinte Neverfull MM. This is the Beige Claire 
It's $29.80. This is very similar to, was it like turtle or dove or something? Very, you know, just a plain beige, but I think this is a little bit of an iridescent, like a little bit of a shimmer to it. But then you have this rose color and this is so pretty, you guys. So here's the multi pochette Emprunt Rose for $3,100. That is really cute. It doesn't come with the coin purse the way the regular multi pochette does. Here we have it in the green. That color is really pretty, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, oh, here's the next one. Speedy 20 in the Beige Claire. This is $28.40. I really like the Speedy 20 size. I think that's a perfect size. You have a crossbody. It is wide enough to fit a phone. I have the Nano Speedy and it like it really doesn't fit my phone. It The phone can fit in there, but it really shouldn't because it's just barely stretching. So I think the Speedy 20 is a great size. A little step up from the Nano. Speedy 20 again in the green. The color is amazing. Okay, here we have the On The Go PM. I am a huge, huge fan of the On The Go GM. I own two of them. I love them. And I was like, I don't need another tote. But the PM size, and I haven't tried it in person yet, but I, it's a great everyday size, like an everyday bag, everyday purse. It has a shoulder strap. It's got the top handles. And then here in this Stardust collection, it's just such a beautiful shimmery finish in the rose color. You have, and it's 3,500, so pretty. And then here it is in the lilac color. You guys, this color, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I love that color. I just love it. It's mesmerizing. It's this iridescent, purpley with a pink shift and then you have blue it's so pretty these are the three or four colors right so you have the lilac you have the rose the beige which is not as iridescent and then the green and unfortunately not every item is available in every color the other bag in this collection is the neo noe bb in the rose this is 2580 this is such a gorgeous color also in this design i like so many things in this i wasn't a huge fan of the last spring collection it was i think like more like watercolor i forget what it's called Sunset it was the Sunset collection. I didn't get anything from that, but this one I was like, yeah, I need something from this collection. Oh my God, they don't have it. All right, I'm gonna have to insert pictures, but they have the other small other goods they had in this collection in the rose color. They have the zippy wallet, the long wallet, and then they have the zippy coin purse in the lilac color. They are starting to trickle in. I think the official launch date I thought was June 16, but some stores have received it earlier and I've seen some pictures. There are pictures floating around. I'll try to include some. It is so pretty. I love this collection. Not a huge fan of the clothes, not a huge fan of the ready to wear and the, and the uh, accessories. I did kind of like the beach blanket or the beach towel and the pillow. I mean, I appreciate it from afar. I don't see myself getting any of that stuff but I am definitely getting at least one, maybe two things from the leather goods and maybe small leather goods part of this collection. But let me know what you guys think. I just feel like LV is pushing on a lot of stuff. So you have to be very careful and very strategic about what you decide on getting, see what you have in your existing collection. But I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the LV lookbook. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.